proud to permit Radio Nowhere. Welcome back. It's good to be back. Uh, that was Massive Attack. See how I did that? Kind of, yeah. And before that was... Well, well I was going to tell you. Yeah. Whoops. Oh, you're playing it again? Wow. <laughs> I like that. Apparently. It's called Paradise Circus. Sorry. I was looking for the title and I hit the wrong button. Sorry. Before that, what did we hear, Steve? We heard Allison Gold with I Love Chinese Food. Which is not a true statement necessarily for me, but really, you don't like Chinese food. Uh, I have my moments, but it's kind of a rarity. Okay, fair enough. And and uh, to me, when when you told me about that, I said, "Is this like that?" And you said, "It's like that Rebecca Black song." Yeah. So it, it's I, I don't is there a I'm sure there is. Are you aware of what the name is for that that sort of thing? Uh, I I have I can't think of it right offhand, but I I think I've heard it. What is yeah, it? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. I just that was actually me wondering uh, what it was called, but it's it's one when, hit wonder. No, 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 no. When when uh, y- your parents are rich and they pay money for you to get a, get a song cut. made, yeah. So spoiled. <laughs> could be. That could be. Oh. We're already in the middle of, fe- of March. And, we are. And I tell you what, the weather, oh boy, oh boy, it has been nice lately, hasn't it? It has been lovely. And and re- you remember my weather forecast last week and my, my hope for this day, this e- or this Saturday evening? Yes, yes. You, you, you mentioned that if the weather was good, if the weather outside was nice, you were hoping to go to the old track. I, and I did. And I ran. Uh, you ran so far away? I did. I saw some seagulls. Um, no, I actually, I, I got out there and did some practice this evening. Um, um, unfortunately, I didn't have any other takers, but you know what? I'm now ahead of them with in, some in, s- springtime practice. You're, you're ahead in the point standing? Yes, exactly. I was going to uh, tell you uh, that, that uh, Massive Attack song, that is the theme song from the television show Luther, which is a... Um, BBC cop drama, which I'm actually amazed at how many BBC cop dramas there are. And then I thought about how many Law and Orders we have, and I thought, well, well yeah. maybe it's not so unusual. But uh, the thing that boggles me, and I, I meant to ask Google about this the other day, it was why are BBC show seasons so short? Because they're, I, I think I was under the assumption in like. British England, they only had like six months a year, don't they? <laughs> they only have six months a year. That's what I heard. Like, like what? What? What months do they have? Um, I don't know. I think they're all cold winter months, aren't they? <laughs> they're, they're all the cold and wintry months. Yeah. Yeah. When it. Yeah. That, that's that's just what I heard. You know, take it with a grain of salt. I can't think that's even correct. Oh, but uh, no, I, I uh, this this show, their first season is six episodes. It's an hour-long drama. Okay. The second season is four episodes. The wow. third season is four episodes. Wow. So compared to the typical American se- series. 20-some episode season. That's not even one, one regular season. That's like a mid-season replacement with 16 episodes. But it's good stuff. Not not for everyone, but... Uh, it's it's enjoyable. It's it's thinky, so thinky, thinky. You know, like uh, it, it's not it's not like, for instance, the movie The Raid, which I I saw again tonight, uh, which is not thinky. Which yeah. which to explain The Raid to you, um, it has subtitles, but 
really, if they didn't work, you wouldn't be out much. I was going to say, you lost me with subtitles. Yeah. Uh, that just kind of ruined it for me. <laughs> if I've got to sit and read the movie, yes, yeah, it's just like, nah, nah. If I'm going to read, I'll get a book. Exactly. So, we were talking before the show. Mm-hmm. Something happened to me this week at work. and Yes. kind of took me back a little bit and really didn't know how to take it. Cause, because... Actually, t- tell tell the 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 brief. Uh, not that there's a long version. I don't think is there. No, no, okay. not really. T- tell tell the story. Take as long as you want. So I'm I'm at work this week. I, I am a service manager at Max Die now, and um, I had a customer come in and say, "Hey, are are you the Steve that's on Radio Nowhere?" And and honestly, I I I was kind of busy at the time. I mean, my mind, you know, was was with, with work. And I just kind of was taken back by it, and I, I wasn't real sure how to respond. Yeah, because while we we enjoy ourselves doing this, we also generally will admit, under little duress, that this is more or less for our own amusement. Yeah, really, this is a hobby. I mean, it's, it, it, it's a good reason to get together at midnight on once a week. Yeah, true. So, so yeah, I, I was just like, my response was, yeah, and you know, I, she didn't really. Um, that I re- recall indicate that she didn't like the show, which I think we tell people to not tell anyone ever if that's the case. Right. So, so they, you would assume that if if she knew you well enough by voice to know you were on the show, she also knows the rules, much like Fight Club. If you know, yeah, much like Fight Club, much like Fight Club, but but a little less bloody. Yeah. How about that? In so. movie form, you know, people would mistake them all the time. <laughs> I'm sure. We better get back to the music. All right. Here we go. What are we playing? sure? Is this Toad the Wet Sprocket? Something's always wrong? Yeah. Something was wrong. Something is wrong. Radio Nowhere. They might be giants. Birdhouse in your soul. They might be. Could be. And before that, Toad the Wet Sprocket. One of my favorite bands. Something's always wrong. One of one of their their um, more mainstream hits. Not not unfortunately, or unfortunately, they didn't have a lot of hits. But uh, no, but it. But uh, I, still, I enjoy them too. I've I've always enjoyed them. Mm. So, I was having a conversation with uh, uh, Matt Donahoe about something, and I said, or he said, and well, let's let's re- rewind a little bit. Do you remember before we were full service WJBD what we were? Um, I do. I'm trying to remember. Well, I mean, I, I'll know it as soon as you say it. Give me just a second to think on it. Um, there was a big blue and white banner that yeah, yeah. you wore as a cape. Spirit, Spirit WJBD. There you go. Yeah, it was the you wore as a cape part that remember. Uh, yeah, we probably shouldn't mention that, but yeah. <laughs> and one of our late night. Um, Sugar induced, yeah. Go ahead, Mirage. The the uh, which which actually brought us up to the Spirit Cat. Yes, I forgot about the Spirit Cat. See, M- Matt asked if I was going to take their cat, who they call Stupid. Why? Why is he trying? I noticed that on Facebook. Why is he trying to get rid of the cat now? All of a sudden? Oh, he's not really. It's okay. just. It's just. It's just the thing. Okay. It's the soup du jour, but um. Ooh, that I sounds said, good. <laughs> in the mood for soup. <laughs> no, we were eating here today. But uh, he's he asked if I was going to take take the cat with. I said, Yeah, I'm going to take take him up to the radio station or her, I guess. Mm-hmm. And uh, I said she can be the new station cat. He goes, Do you, Do you remember the spirit cat? I said I I remember seeing pictures of the spirit cat, but I believe the spirit cat had already met with its demise by the time I started ah, here. Yeah. And and he goes. Well, you know, you know, uh, you know, why is the spirit cat? I said, why? He goes, because, or he said something, and the way he phrased it made it sound like, to me, and granted it was kind of late, that, that they named the station after the cat when, when it was the other way around, and I looked at him crazy, and he said, no, no, you're misunderstanding me. They, they named the cat after the station. I'm like, okay, well, that's the way I thought it was, but for some reason I was thinking... Which then brings up the question of what sort of animal did they find to name Replace full it. service and oh. <laughs> name, name the station after. But uh, 
anyway. The full service raccoon that lives in the attic. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we know what, what the next picture on our Facebook page is going to be, isn't it? Hey, I think it would work. Uh, let's get back into some music, Radio Nowhere. This is back in the live version of Everybody's Gotta Learn Sometime. Uh, the reason I have Beck on the mind is because I watched the Futurama episode that had Beck in it. You remember that one? I do not. It's a pretty fun one. It's a bender heavy episode. <laughs> Peter Schilling, the English version of Major Tom, just just to be polite to. Well, I for one appreciate that. Well, I, I knew you would have trouble reading the subtitles from that angle. Uh, yeah, you would have lost me. Yeah. So, and before that, I don't even remember what we played. You picked it. I know. That's the sad thing. Oh, back. We played back. Yeah, that was it. That was. I hadn't heard that version before, and it was it was a little disappointing, I have to say. I'm sorry. I, I like Beck. I guess I'm just not as big a Beck fan as I thought I was. <sighs> TV lied to me. So sad. Anywho. Uh, it is uh, 1231, and uh, in or around this time, we typically try and let you mess around with the, the weather forecast. And, and I have to say, as good as you did last week... I'll give you another chance. Okay, goody. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, for the remainder of the overnight, it's going to be mostly clear with a low of 37. Today is in Sunday. It's going to be a high of 64 and sunny, so it's going to be a great day. Uh, tonight, Sunday night, it's going to be a low of 41 and mostly clear. Monday would be an excellent sick day. Let's just put it at that. <laughs> Now, now we can't, we can't. Say yeah, that. I can't really promote that, but I'm just saying, you know, if you were sinuses, or, you know, just saying. Uh, Monday, sunny with a high of 72. Well, let's let's put it this way: if someone in your family is not feeling up to par, you owe it to stay home with them. I need to. I mean, really, it's my duty and responsibility. Um, Monday night, mostly clear with a low of 44. Tuesday, unfortunately, it's going to drop a bit. Uh, it's going to be mostly sunny, however, with only a high of 53, which, I mean, it's not like I can really complain about 53. But I mean, 53 is still nice for March, isn't it? Yeah, it, it plus, is. Plus, I am a I am a huge proponent of the please let's have spring and not just segue from winter straight into summer. Summer, true, true. Um, looking ahead, uh, looks like we've got a chance of a slight chance of rain Wednesday night, 30% chance to be exact. Uh, Thursday. How we'll did you figure out that thirty percent chance? Calculator. Okay. Uh, Thursday, thirty uh, percent <laughs> chance of, of showers. Thursday night, thirty percent chance of showers. Friday, partly sunny with a high near fifty-six. Uh, and then looking ahead to the weekend. Good looking ahead. Good looking ahead. Which uh, take this. It, with it, the it better be a nice forecast for the weekend if you say it's good looking. You know, I wish it was. And I, I, it's not bad, per se, but they are throwing in that 20% chance of showers on Saturday, but a high near 60. So uh, I, I'll, I'll take that. Yeah. That's your forecast. And, that, I'm, and I'm Steve. Thank you, Steve. You're welcome. I liked that forecast. I'm glad. I think you're getting better. Yeah, I'm trying. I've been I mean, practicing. I mean, you, you've, you've really gotten rid of the snow and ice theme that you had going on for a long what time. was it, two shows ago when I had the minute-by-minute minute snow update? Yeah. So, snow, I mean... Snow a cane. So, so I'm, I'm a big fan of getting getting your forecast straightened out to the, the less snow and ice versions. I, I can't disagree with that at all. All right. Well, hey, let's get back into the tunes. I don't know if you know this one or not. It's Guster. You remember that band at all? I don't know it by name, anyway. The song's called Amsterdam. Matt Leibarger introduced this song to me, so i got to give him credit. Somewhere his head just exploded. Radio Nowhere and WJBG. <laughs> uh, Did Steve, you break it? Steve Winwood. Yeah, I broke it. I broke it. That's not good. Well, I thought I just fixed it. It, it, it was it was fixed, but um, now it's not. Great. Sorry. It's it's getting awful late in the show for breaking things too. Um. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. Have you uh, 
You watched any of the uh, new s- shows? I know, know uh, the the uh, like second season of Blacklist is out. I don't know if you ever watched. I have the never first watched. Season. Yeah, I have not seen an episode of Blacklist. I know Chad raves and raves about it, and oh, I, I hear it's pretty good. I, and, and you know, and and as much as I hate to say it, when, when Chad raves and raves about something, I typically am a little skeptical. Right. Because a lot of things Chad signs off on are are a little bit dumb but when he's right he's right okay you know so usually if you if you watch the first whatever you 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 see the first 10 minutes of something you can decide if if this is one of those those just things that chad enjoys immensely for his own and he's the only one that would Mm -hmm. or or if it's actually something that's fairly entertaining so speaking of tv shows and what, what i was trying to get to Okay. Um, I have seen, or I, I have heard and seen, like, Tibbet commercials about... Tibbet commercials? Tibbet, Tibbet commercials. <laughs> I, I'm un- unfamiliar with this idea. Uh, about what, hero- what, What's a Tibbet commercial, Steve? Like a quick one. A, t- a tidbit <laughs> commercial, I think, is what I was trying to say, but, yeah. Um, so, I guess he, NBC is bringing, now that, like, superheroes is the new in thing, right. they're bringing the Heroes TV show back. Really? Did, did you... Watch it? No, I, I, never I did, did not. I mean, I, I, I'll be honest with you. I really. I, it seems like I saw a little bit of the first season, but didn't really follow it. And I just was curious on your take on it. No, no, I because I don't. I don't watch much TV that's not already on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Just, just because. Well, we don't. We don't have cable at the house. Just because I. If if we had cable at the house, I would get absolutely, and I mean absolutely nothing done. It's bad enough with Netflix, but but sometimes at least the internet goes out, so I can get things done. Right. Whereas, if we had like a hundred channels, I'd be, I'd be all over it because when I'm, because with my job I stay stay in a hotel a lot, mm-hmm. and so when I'm in the hotel, I don't hardly ever turn on the TV because when I do, you're done. I don't ever turn it off. Yeah. Like I, I was watching a documentary and. I, I would not have been like, oh, I really want to see a documentary about about uh, uh, a, a drug cartel. But once it started, I'm like, hmm, can't put this down. This is too good. And it, it was like a marathon. So like, you get, once you start, you can't stop. Yeah, they, they do have a lot of marathons on the day TV. goes by, and which which is is an odd phrase for that because. If you think of the original idea of marathons, you know, 26.2 miles of running, you know, you've got to be pretty fit and in shape. And then we have TV marathons, TV which, marathons are, which are the kind of the exact opposite. Mm-hmm. Grab your bag of chips and whatever and plop down in front of the TV and there you have it. Call it good. Do you ever watch that show Portlandia? I have no idea what that show even is. It's Fred Armistad or something like that from Saturday Night Live, or he was on there. And actually, my wife brought one up to me that she had saw. I don't even know. She was watching them on Netflix or something at one point. But do you remember the show that Battlestar Galactica when it was on uh, sci fi, you know, the newer remake of uh, it? I know there was. I didn't watch it. Well, it was about this couple that, like, discovers the show. This is after it had been on. I think they discovered it, like, on DVD or. Or Netflix or something. The show Portlandia is about a. a, a well, no, there was. Who... The, it's kind of a skit comedy, but there, there was a episode where they kept going to this family who has discovered the sci-fi remake of Battlestar Galactica or watch like Chain Watcher doing the marathon watching. Okay. And it, every every time it shows them, it's like you know days have gone by. Uh, they've got like the phone keeps ringing. Their, their work trying to see where they're at, and they've just basically like. Everything in life is on hold, and they're just chain watching this. And it, it actually was really funny. I mean, just because the house is like trash, they they keep ordering pizza, and it's just like they cannot do anything but sit and watch it. And it, it was it was actually pretty funny. Which that that reminds me of the the one one thing I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, and and it's kind of bad timing on this because it's it's not a big jackpot. But I I don't usually play the lottery, um, unless. It hits like at least 150 million, and my logic there is, if I could win 150 million dollars, then after taxes with a lump sum, that'd be enough. And I know this sounds weird. That'd be enough to live on the interest, which obviously 
a number small smaller than that would be more than fine to live off the interest. Sure. But I always always have this this thought that well, if it was if I could bring home X amount after taxes, lump sum, then that would be Y amount of 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 interest every year, and you could live pretty lavishly off the interest. Mm-hmm. And then I always I always get back to the idea. The problem with this this thought, besides the fact that I'm not going to win the lottery, but the problem with this is, do you know probably if I had my druthers what I would do most days if I didn't have to go to work? You know, if if all of a sudden you said, Matt, you never have any more bills again. All your worries are taken care of. My idea of a good week, getting a brand new video game, pizza three days a week okay i, I was going to definitely say video game yeah but I, yeah I, so so to to live that lavish lifestyle where i buy a new video game once every three or four weeks and have pizza a couple nights a week i don't think i need multi-millions to do that yeah i was gonna say yeah i mean it doesn't sound too expensive no i wouldn't think so but i i haven't won the lottery yet to test out the theory probably won't yeah, I'd say the odds probably aren't real great. No. Well, it is already twelve fifty three. I was I, I was thinking we might play a couple more songs and then come back and then do our outro, but I think I think at this point we're pretty much on a collision course with the outro. What do you think? Uh yeah, I I tend to agree. All right. So so if you like what you've heard, tell a friend or just stop by and tell Steve and tell me. Yeah, just say hey. Did did she say she liked it? Well, was I she just just commenting that I, she was aware see, of it? I, 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 she might have, but I, I just you were just kind of taken aback. Yeah, I, I was just kind of like I don't know. My head was still spinning. It's like wow. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm on there. Why do you ask? So, so yeah, the, the rest of it was kind of a blur, kind of like meeting a celebrity, huh? Yeah, it was still. I was still kind of just making sure I made the correct <laughs> correct response. <laughs> You you were first making sure she asked you what you thought you did she did. Yeah, and then then yeah. you wanted to make sure you were actually awake. Exactly. So if you liked what you heard, tell a friend. And if you do not like what you've heard, don't tell anybody ever. Now a couple loud songs to wrap up the show. Yay. You you like this one, I think. I love this song. And it's it's is, in it's is, is it's it in honor Denver? of the holiday. The no. holiday? Yeah, the holiday coming up. What's what's coming up? Shamrock Day? Yes. Otherwise known as St. Patrick's Day. Yes. So here, here are the Dropkick Murphys. Shipping up to Boston. It's a little loud, Steve. You're going to be all right. I might get scared. You might want to I dance. do like this song, though. You are right. It's on Radio Nowhere. WJBD. WJBD-FM, Salem Centralia. This has been an I Love Raisins production.